Hey folks, this is David. I want to share with you what I think is the absolute best bike rack system for e-bikes. The two e-bikes that we have in the bed of this truck without the battery are 76 pounds, so they're heavy bikes. I've looked at a lot of videos on uh, 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 hitch bike racks and the bikes just seem to bounce around a lot, move around. Sometimes those racks fail. So I want to come up with a solution that I think is the absolute best solution if you have a pickup truck. And I want to call out two companies that I think do a fantastic job on this. And it's uh, Ride88, who makes the uh, bike rack system, I'll show you in a second. And then a company by the name of Torque Straps, T-O-R-K Straps, that make a fantastic cam lock strap that has an integrated spring for any movement in the, uh, in the uh, load. So, so first of all, I wanna show you that the bike rack system I used is by Ride88 and it's their QR3 system. Basically it comes with this crossbar section that you see here and it has a, um, a cam locking bar that comes down and captures that front tire. This is all steel construction, not aluminum. This is very heavy made, well made. And here's the lever down here that you, uh, actually it's down here that you grab and you torque this uh, lever down and it has a cam lock action to it and locks down on that front tire. So check out them, Ride 88. It's the QR3 bike rack. It comes in single, double, or triple. And uh, he has several, Jerry has several videos out there on how to uh, how to uh, use this torque rack. I'm, I'm sorry, how to use this uh, bike rack system and also the versatility, extremely uh, adjustable for whatever bike you have, whatever wheel size you have. So that's the, uh, the bike rack system. The company that I used and you'll see the straps here on a second, is by Torque Strap. Let's see if I can get you a little closer look here. Torque Strap is a, a cam lock uh, strap that has an integrated spring. So if you have any movement in the load, the spring absorbs that movement in the load and doesn't lose this, the overall tension on the strap. Check out his videos, T-O-R-K strap, fantastic straps. So what I wanted to do with this is my intent was to um, tie the two bikes together because I wanted to be able to strap on the right side and on the left side, and I didn't want to have any other uh, uh, apparatus between the bikes. So what I did is I took a two by four, drilled the size, the diameter of the seat post, and I just used the seat post and a two by four to lock these two bikes, if you will, together. And on the underside of the, uh, of the two by four, I put an eye bolt. So I grabbed that eye bolt, brought it down here to the bottom right corner of my pickup truck, and on the other side, did the same thing. Grabbed the side bolt and tied it down to the, the bed of the truck. And then the front, I grabbed the handlebars with the soft loop that they have available on these uh, torque straps and tied it down to the bed of my truck. So this setup, has uh, four torque straps and they're different colors. This is a little higher spring rate. I'm gonna get the, the red ones are the uh, the least amount of tension. These are the next step up if you're wondering what the color difference is. Check out their website. So like I have the front wheels captured with the uh, Ride 88 QR3 bike rack. I'm using four torque straps, two on each side of the, each handlebar, one on each handlebar on the front, and then on the, uh, the cross member that I built, cooked to an eye bolt. And these bikes are extremely, I just got off the highway. These bikes, there's movement in because the torque straps have a spring in it. And that's good because if the load shifts, if you don't have that spring, then you're gonna lose tension in that strap. So a slight movement is okay. Now you noticed that these bikes were too long for my tail, for the length of my bed of my truck. <clears throat> so I had to come up with a solution, which also is offered by Ride 88, which is called their tailgate boss. Now what this is, is a mechanism that captures the pin on the bed of your truck. And on this side, it has a pin that catches the latch on this side. And what I, we, normally you have this, uh, this torque down uh, handled screw, if you will, kind of catches against a uh, kind of a rough, rough piece of tape. Jerry from Ride 88 said, let's pin this so that this thing will never, if this, if this, uh, tie down tension sprint uh, latch if you will here tie down tension screw uh, gives way you've got this pin so this will never give way 
Now I'm gonna say when you buy these, they're about 10 inches longer and they're made out of aluminum. So they're pretty, very easy to modify. It took me, I don't know, probably an hour to modify two of them because I wanted the clearance from the bed of my, from the tailgate of my truck to my tire. It's maybe a quarter inch right there. So you have slight, very slight movement in this tailgate because they're right up against the, the, the bike tires. That is it. And because it's at a higher degree or a less degree of opening, you don't have the weight if this would have been open. If I would use the stock tailgate bosses, this tailgate would have been open probably 60, 70 degrees and there was a lot more weight on that tailgate just from gravity. So easy to modify, very easy to modify. So that is what I think is the best e-bike rack system for, for my purposes. Like I said, I wanted to avoid the, uh, the hitch racks, just too much movement. The bikes bounce around a lot. Those racks fail. There's many videos out there of those racks failing. I wanted to get my bikes in the bed of the truck and the two companies that helped me do that was Ride 88, the QR3 bike rack, the Ride 88 tailgate bosses, and then the torque straps by the fell out in California. I hope that helps you guys. That's my solution on how I'm gonna transport my e-bikes. Have a great day, bye-bye.